Hello guys and welcome to Laravel 10 tutorials. So guys in this video we are going to discuss about how can we implement newsletters in Laravel. So newsletter is a way to keep your client customer users updated uh, regarding any changes. For example if a user is interested in a blogging system and he wants to get updated whenever there is a new blog post you can do that via newsletter. You may have seen the pop up on many website. So e-commerce example can be let's say if there is any e if there is any sort of sale or offer you can update your client or let's say if you are introducing a new product you can update your client uh, regarding that as well so that's a little description regarding the newsletter now let's move to the video so as you know i have already created a notepad file right here on the desktop in which i have defined all the necessary steps and i have taken these steps from the official documentation okay just keep that in mind so let's move to step number one our uh, step number one says that we need to create a fresh laravel project or we can use an existing project it's totally up to you in my case i will be using fresh laravel project so if you have laravel global install you can simply use this command if you don't have laravel globally install you can simply use this command so i have already created this project as you can see in this uh, step number two let's move to step number three uh, once you have your project existing or fresh you can move to step number three okay so install the laravel package so i will just copy this from right here and i have already accessed my project as mentioned in the step number two i will show you on the sublime side as well okay so let's paste the command here and i'm going to hit enter and i'm going to pause the video to save some time okay guys so package is successfully installed now let's move to step number four publish the configuration so let's do that copy and paste it right here hit enter so this will create a newsletter.php file in config so let's move to config newsletter so this package in, uh, includes you can use let's say multiple drivers one is mailchimp and the other one is mail coach driver so in this video we will be using mailchimp if you want to use mail coach it's up to you okay so we need the api key we need the endpoint and we need the user list id so now let's move here okay so in order to use mailchimp we need to install an extra package so let's do that first of all okay and similarly if you are using mail coach driver you need to install that uh, mail coach extra package let me show you so let's move down here yeah so using mail coach you need this driver using mailchimp you need this driver just wanted to keep you updated okay so let's copy this let's move to git bash and i'm going to paste it and once again i'm going to pause the video okay guys so you can see the package is successfully installed now let's move to the node you can read it completely uh, now we need to make, uh, make some changes so let's move to sublime and first of all i will change this driver to mailchimp okay and we need to pass null as an endpoint okay and now we need this api key which we will define in env okay so let's do that first of all then we will get the api key okay and one more thing that is the user list id from okay so let's paste it right here okay so now we need this newsletter api key and list id we can get it from the official website of mailchimp so let's go there okay so you need to sign up as a free uh, because free contains let's say 1000 emails per month so maybe if you are doing it for yourself you need to upgrade the plan okay so now i will move to my dashboard okay so you need to sign up as a free user you need to put some details and then you will be redirected to your dashboard after that you need to click on this link and move to profile okay then you have to move to extra api key and right here you can create a key uh, because once you create a key you need to copy it and save it somewhere because you will not be able to see it once you are going to generate a key you will see this message as well so one i don't have it actually and the other one i created for the hindi urdu lecture okay so once again you need to move to profile then you have to go to extra in extra you have to go to api key and you have to generate a key so i i already have it right here you can see okay so i will just copy it okay and move to sublime and put the api key that's the api key now we need the news uh, newsletter list id so audience all contacts and then we have to move to setting audience name and defaults so this is our list id okay i will paste it 
and I will recall it once again for you. So all contacts, then you have to go to settings, audience name and default, and you will find the audience ID or news, uh, newsletter list ID. Okay, so that is done. Now let's move to our documentation. Okay, so we have done, done the changes which I wrote right here, null and API key and the newsletter list ID. Create a controller, so let's do that. Newsletter controller. Okay, then we have to create routes. So let's move to web.php. Okay, and let's update this route. App HTTP controllers and newsletter. Sorry, I need to make sure for the name. So this is over. Yeah, I was writing it wrong. Sorry, guys. Okay, and then class and then method would be index. Okay, so similarly, I can copy this one because I need one more route and the type would be post. Okay, method actually and we'll hit subscribe route. Okay, and the method we are going to hit using this is subscribe as well. Okay, we need to create that. After that, we have, I have already created a basic HTML form for the subscriber so let's copy this okay let's move to sublime let's move to resources views create a new file name it name it as form form.blade.php okay so it's a simple form url action url is subscribed right here you can see okay we will performing our actions right there method is post then there is email and i already uh, wrote the code for the let's say if we have any error or if we have any success matches here so i will provide this you don't need to stop the video and copy and paste it okay now let's move and let's create these method index and the other one <coughs> so newsletter controller and public function index and sorry and using this we are just going to return the view so return view form which we just created okay then i need one more method so copy paste align the code and here subscribe okay and then we have to pass request dollar request and let's die and dump to see if everything is working fine dollar request all just like that now we can simply run our project and test this out okay so once our project is up and running sorry okay let's do a refresh right here you can see the form okay so now let's try putting some email subscribe so we are redirected and we are right here okay so it's working fine now let's move back to the controller and let's do the remaining procedure so actually the process of uh, let's say adding a subscriber is fairly very easy okay i will show you so we need to use newsletter okay so pass it right here just like that and we can simply use this one to add the subscriber sorry this one to uh, add the subscriber or this one to unsubscribe the user okay so but i have a better plan we can use first check put a condition if a user is already subscribed we need to check this okay so we are going to make it a little bit robust and be before that i am going to validate the request so request validate and we'll pass email it should be required and email okay and after that we can simply use try okay try if our condition we will paste replace this dollar request email if request email then we have to return sorry I will bring it up sorry guys okay so request sorry return redirect back with error i think you are getting it you have already subscribed 
to our news letters okay so if the user already exists in that all context list we are going to display this error if not we can simply do this else and we can do news letter subscribe okay and request email this is the method uh, method that i already showed you so we can simply copy this one first let's put a semicolon and let's paste it right here align the code okay and we will replace it to success message so success okay you have successfully you have successfully subscribed to our newsletter okay and after that uh if there is any error not related to this and this then we can catch our error here so let's copy this one okay let's paste it right here and let's catch the message so e get message just like that so yeah it looks fine so if the user or uh, is all is an existing user a uh, user in our contact list we will show this message if not we will subscribe the user and if there is any other error we will see it regarding this okay so now let's try to test it out i will do a refresh let's try let's say two three four five at gmail.com let's try to subscribe this user subscribe okay you have already successfully subscribed now let's see this list all contacts okay okay guys so once the list is refreshed you can see it right here okay now uh, let's try to uh, do it again and let's see what we have so the email was 2345 so 2345 at gmail subscribe and this time we should see an error you have already subscribed to our newsletter which is correct now uh, i want to show you one more thing once you are able to add the subscriber to the list right here you can see okay some results were related to hindi urdu lecture so yeah after that you can simply use uh, unsubscribe to unsubscribe a user delete to delete a user and uh, you can also pass first name last name you can refer to the documentation regarding that but after you have everything uh, you can simply email send emails from here as well so let me show you so move to all campaigns then we have to click on create new then we have to click on regular email then we can simply put some details right here so to and this is the from email from which we are going to send email then i have to put subject so let's take the same subject teaching and save it other than that i have to make some other changes regarding content send down uh, send time would be now so content we need to change this so i will take this empty one okay which is actually not empty <laughs> okay guys now i have to remove everything from here because otherwise it will show you a prompt that you need to remove the placeholders so you can put some data if you want but in my case i will remove everything and just pass a simple message because this is just for the testing so delete and this one as well and i will write <coughs> it's working okay and let's save it save and exit okay guys now you can see uh we are seeing the warning to upgrade the plan otherwise you will see this message okay a plain text is there everything is good now we need to click send send now and you can see your emails out there so i will show you the results as well okay guys so you can see i have received an email on my own email which is all about laravel so i will show you actually i was sending emails from another account my personal account and i'm receiving it right here because this email is right here in the contact list okay so and it is also subscribed which i did in the previous lecture so yeah guys that's about it from this specific video just wanted to show you this last step so yeah so i hope you guys like this video if you liked it please like subscribe and share thank you take care and yes guys be ready for the next one okay take care